Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Laurel Glover, and I am an assistant professor of public health at Charleston Southern University. And today I'm just going to talk to you about our degree program and some of the career options that are available to you should you decide to pursue your education in public health. So um, one of the more common questions that we get really is, what is public health? Um, Public health is uh, an area that really aims to prevent disease before it starts. So while a physician um, is treating one patient at a time, dealing with issues as they arrive, public health wants to create healthier populations and healthier communities um, before disease or injury uh, occurs. So there are many ways that that can happen. And within public health, the um, variety of jobs are quite vast. But um, in a nutshell, that really is, is public health, is at the population level trying to create healthier communities or healthier groups of people. So um, some people in public health, as I'm sure that you have seen recently in the news, work in epidemiology, for example, where they're tracking uh, disease. Other individuals in public health may be working to create laws and create policies that keep our population safe. So there are a variety of different places for those with a public health education to work. Um, some of these uh, locations are going to require that you have just an undergraduate degree and others are going to require more advanced studies. It really just depends upon the individual career field that you want to pursue. Um, Everything from working in a small town, a small community, to influencing global health uh, is possible with a background in public health. So we have two undergraduate degree options available to students at Charleston Southern. We have a Bachelor of Arts in Public Health and we have a Bachelor of Science in Public Health. So first and foremost, the public health courses are the same for both of these programs. We don't um, pull the BA students and the BS students apart for any of their public health studies. So whether you're on the BA or the BS, your public health courses are the same. About 90% of our students um, stay on the Bachelor of Arts and maybe about 10% are going to pursue a Bachelor of Science. So the Bachelor of Science is quite a bit heavier in terms of lab sciences, and that's because it's specifically intended to be a pre-professional degree program. And what that means is that the Bachelor of Science in Public Health sets you up to apply for med school, PA school, PT school, um, any of these professional degree programs where you're going to continue your education. So within the BS curriculum, we've chosen a handful of lab sciences that we require of every student. And then you work with your public health advisor to fill out your uh, transcript with the other lab science courses that are going to be required for you to apply to whatever professional program you intend to pursue. So again, the Bachelor of Science specifically specifically designed for individuals who are intending to follow a clinical path. It's a pre-professional program. The Bachelor of Arts really sets students up to work anywhere that they choose within public health with the exception of those clinical roles. Um, it is a little less rigorous, but purely from that lab science perspective. So again, as I said, the public health courses are the same whether you're on the Bachelor of Arts or you're on the Bachelor of Science. Some public health career opportunities are listed out for you on this particular slide. Um, now, you see a variety of different areas. As I said, public health is a pretty vast, a pretty broad field. Some of these uh, you are able to pursue just with an undergraduate degree. And um, I chose just sort of a sampling of some job opportunities that are available right now for students that have a bachelor's in public health. The first one's a community health specialist. Um, community health specialists are managing specific illnesses and managing exposure to specific illnesses. The second is a quality Quality improvement coordinator. A quality improvement coordinator would work in conjunction with public health education programs to make them better and to make them more efficient. 
Um, you could work as a public health administrator where you're responsible for planning and implementation of programs designed to prevent disease or programs um, that are creating public services. Also with an undergraduate degree in public health, you can work as a research assistant in a lab, in a college, in a research agency, um, or really um, in any uh, research lab that is um, seeking assistance. Um, so those are just some of the opportunities that you might have available to you with that undergraduate degree alone. As far as educational opportunities, an undergraduate degree in public health is an excellent stepping stone should you choose to continue your education. So as I mentioned previously, that BS in public health is specifically designed to allow students to apply to professional programs, medical school, um, PA school, uh, PT school are probably those that we see most commonly, um, but there certainly are other postgraduate degrees or graduate degrees that um, can be pursued after one has completed their undergraduate education in public health. This is just a sampling of our public health courses. Each of the courses that you see on this slide is required in the public health core. What that means is that every student who is majoring in public health must take these classes. Now we do have some other electives that sometimes our public health students will choose to kind of round out their studies based on their own individual interests. Um, for example, Professor Egley in the fall is teaching a class in public health from a Christian worldview. So if we have a student um, maybe that's minoring in Christian studies, that might appeal to them. We have an elective in the fall entitled Infectious Disease Control. So somebody that intends to pursue a clinical path or an epidemiology path, that elective might appeal to them. So we really work with each individual student to create the schedule and ultimately create the transcript that's best representative of what their interests are. Outside of the classroom, students do in, usually in their junior year, um, they do a one credit internship prep. Course. And really what that is aiming to do is help them to locate and prepare themselves to complete a 120-hour internship the following semester. So internships are done off-site. Uh, we have students placed in a variety of different settings for their internship because we really try to align your internship placement with whatever your ultimate career goal is. So we have students doing internships currently in occupational safety and health, in um, health policy, in governmental programs, in uh, women's and children's health. Really, again, we try to align your internship with whatever your interests are. We have a public health club that is open to all students. Uh, you don't have to be a public health major or minor to participate in the public health club. And they um, participate in service events, um, throughout the year, as well as um, promoting wellness on campus. There's also research opportunities that are available to public health students, both by partnering with faculty members and by some partnerships that we've been able to forge in the community. One other opportunity that I do just want to make you aware of is CSU's MBA in Healthcare Management. So this is a new graduate program. Um, many of our public health undergraduate students intend to pursue a career in healthcare administration. To do that, you need a master's degree. Uh, so what we recommend for those students is a BA in public health with a minor in business administration. And when you graduate from those undergraduate studies, you are set up to transition right into the MBA in healthcare management, which can be completed in as little as 10 months. It's a 30 credit hour program, um, which is amazing. Uh, there's also a flex program where students can opt to take classes in person in addition to online, and that program can be completed in two years. So this is a partnership between the College of Business and the Department of Public Health. So you have the College of Business teaching the business courses and faculty from public health 
teaching the healthcare administration courses. So this is certainly um, an opportunity that is available to students that are coming into the public health program, but intend to pursue um, an he a healthcare admin career. Just encourage you, if you have any questions at all, please um, email myself, uh, Laurel Glover. I'm the third one there. You can also email Dr. Palmer. She's the director of the public health program um, or Professor Egley. Um, I like to think that we're a pretty well-rounded group. It's just the three of us, and we come from extremely varied backgrounds, which makes us, I think, really able to minister to the student body that um, we are exposed to pretty well. So I would just encourage you, again, reach out if you have any questions at all because we are happy to answer them. So thank you to those of y'all uh, who listened today or in the future as this will be uh, recorded um, for reference later on. And I hope to meet you at CSU.